Hello everybody, it's Itamog217, and today we're back for another LEGO Magazine Overview. Today we're having a look at the January to February 2007 issue, and like I said in the last issue overview, I love that they use the, the models to go over top of the LEGO Magazine wording. It just makes it pop more. But, yeah. As you can tell, it shows right here that this is obviously for the Aqua Raiders theme, I guess is what this is for. There's going to be some Exoforce and Bionicle stuff inside. This is basically a sub-theme of LEGO Club, obviously. But, um, yeah, let's open this up and, oh, we get an advertisement and a comic. So, this advertisement is for set number 777 for the Crab Crusher. You can launch torpedoes, collect treasure, has a mini sub, and you're ready to put the minifigure to control the vehicle. Interesting. If you want to read the comic, you can pause the video right there, I'm assuming, to read that. And I'm not sure if the comic continues. Yes, it does. Pause the video right there if you want. I'm assuming you can read that. And it shows some advertisements underneath. I've never actually seen this theme before, to be honest, so interesting. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd be interested to hear. But, um, yeah. On the other side, we got Mindstorm's advertisement. Showing that it can do all this cool, fun stuff. It has Bluetooth and uh, apparently was available at Toys R Us, Amazon, Walmart, and Target. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and also you got a fun fact right there about crabs. <laughs> uh, flipping it over, we got some Star Wars right here. Love this. It's basically showing off the droids battle pack and the clone trooper battle pack. Honestly, I know that we're getting a clone trooper battle pack pretty recently uh as of the time of this recording but i'd love it if they made a droid battle pack again let me know if you agree in the comment section down below but yeah this is a really cool scene and of course it shows some stuff down here 30th anniversary of star wars that uh, shows y-wing fighter and imperial landing craft and you can create and if you get both of those you can create to make a um jay's storm fighter <laughs> I don't know, this this looks a lot like Jay's Stormfighter. Let, let me know if you agree, because, like, I don't know. Apparently it's General Grievous's Jedi Hunter's combo build. And then we have this thing where uh, they always have in the magazines where it shows builds that are, pictures of builds that are submitted, and they choose select to be featured in the magazine. Honestly, if I had to choose my two favorites, it would be this uh, Velociraptor head, very well detailed, and this ship. Those are my two favorites. Let me know your favorites in the comment section down below. Flipping this over, we got a advertisement. And what is this, a poster? Oh, we... looks like we got a poster. I don't really want to take it out, but I'm assuming it's Bionicle. So, apologies if uh, you guys can't see that. I'm sorry. But yeah, Lego City advertisement for a fire station. But yeah. Flipping it over, we got a Bionicle comic. If you want, pause the video about right there. Have a read. Here's the other page. Okay. Okay. Flipping the page again, we got some Exoforce advertisements. Very interesting. I'm wondering if this is the last time Exoforce was featured, because I think before 2010 I, is when my memory serves that I never saw these again, but yeah. Now this is a cool Technic set. I don't like Technic, but that looks pretty cool. That looks pretty accurate to an actual snowmobile. Really interesting. And then flipping it over, we got a Bionicle advertisement. That's for something that's coming out in January 22nd, 2007. Okay. You got a, oh, 20th anniversary for LEGO Club itself. Interesting. And apparently there's a build challenge, and all entries have to be received by March 1st, 2007. The idea is build a model for what you would make for LEGO Clubhouse. Take a photo, make an essay of 500 words or less, describing what the Lego house is like, what happens inside the clubhouse, and then email your name, number, etc. Oh, Lego Inside Tour. This is something that's still going on to this day. I want to go to this so bad. It's really cool. I've seen videos of it. It's super cool. Um... In two thousand, apparently, in two thousand seven, the Lego company in Berlin, Denmark, is opening its doors to fans for the Lego Inside Tour. This behind-the-scenes look at the famous toy company has been so popular that the three 
two and a half day tours of Denmark headquarters have already been scheduled for this year. Tour the Lego production line and the Lego Museum. Learn the secrets of Legoland Billund. Meet the Lego model designers and discover how they work. Participate in a special Lego building event and get a free exclusive Lego gift that you can only get from the inside tour. And it's like limited to like what, 500? I don't know, something like that. But very interesting. I want to go, but it's just too expensive. Flipping the page again, we got a Bionicle thing right here. It's a fan model, so very interesting. And then you got some Lego Brickmaster Rewards calendar. What? The, I don't know. Oh, it's a subscription. It's a magazine subscription along with uh, you getting free sets, exclusive sets. You get five Lego sets a year. A surprise set will arrive every two months after the welcome package. You get six Brickmaster magazines, an awesome all-new welcome kit featuring the new Lego from the Vaults 2 CD CD packed with CD packed with exclusive videos and inside look at the work of the Lego master builders, exclusive building ideas, game demos, animated comics, and much more. Two coupons good for five dollars off any purchase of twenty dollars or more from Lego Shop at Home. Coupons sent in from January and May. Bonus Legoland California admission ticket includes a Lego Brickmaster feature shown here. It's apparently a $70 value, only $39.99. Interesting. I wonder what the kind of, if the kind of sets were. If you know of this, please leave a comment in the section down below. I'd love to hear. Very interesting. I actually want to look into this, actually. Um, but yeah, flipping on the back, you get a Exo Force thing. Kind of interesting. Did the robots use dead human bodies to power their machines? <laughs> anyway, um, that's it for this overview. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like. And if you're new here, consider subscribing. I do a lot of Lego related content, even the occasional live stream. And uh, yeah, social media links are in the description below, so check those out. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in a future video. Until then, see ya!